Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're okay and I hope you subscribed. So today I'm going to show you a dish which is great if you want to make it in advance or if you want to batch cook it. Now I'm only making it for two people today but you can increase the ingredients and make quite a few dishes and just pop them in the freezer. It is completely vegetarian, there's no meat in it so you can serve it on its own or you could serve it with meat if you so choose. But it's a really, really tasty dish. It's extra easy SP if you're doing that in world as well. So it's quite versatile, but it does pack a punch in the flavor department as well. And I absolutely love it. And it's one of these dishes which you can cook the night before while you're preparing that night's dinner, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing tonight. So I'm going to be making two meals. One's going to be tonight's meal and then this dish, which I'm going to show you. Um, and I'll also show you what I actually am cooking for tonight's dinner as well, so you can see how I'm doing the two together. Um, obviously, I won't take you through how I'm cooking tonight's dinner because it's not going to be that inspiring, but I'll show you the end dish. Okay, so let's stop talking and let me show you what I'm doing. So first of all, I have heated my oven um, just to get it warm because what I need to do is um, cook my aubergines. Now my aubergines, um, it's just one aubergine because it's for two people. I've sliced it so it's like half a centimetre thick and that will go on a dish, well a sort of baking tray in the oven um, with some fry light and I'll bake that for about 10 minutes and then just take it out, leave it to cool slightly. And then I'm also then in the meantime going to cook an onion which I have chopped. Um, and I'm going to fry that off in my Birkhoff pan with no oil um, along with some garlic, okay? I've got um, some butternut and it's about 150 grams to 180 grams of butternut um, and I've also then got in there 70 grams of lentils which I'm just going to cook in some water until the lentils are cooked and the butternut is soft and then what I'll do is I'll add a tin of tinned tomatoes to that um, and add in a little bit of curry powder so I'll show you that when it's done and I'm sorry if some people don't like the way I said tomatoes then. I had somebody who commented that they didn't like it. So um, just do it in jest. Um, so yeah, so let me boil that off and cook those down. And then I'll show you what I do then after that. Okay, so this has cooked down quite nicely. So I'm going to add in my tinned tomatoes. The uh, butternut isn't quite 100% cooked yet, but it's not far off. So once I add my tinned tomatoes and give them a little stir. The rest of the butternut will actually um, cook down just nicely. You know when it's cooked because you can literally mash it. If you can see that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to add to that my onions. And I see my garlic went in here as well. mix that in and then I'm just going to add a little bit of curry powder just to give it a flavour, I don't want it too hot or spicy because um, it will lose anything else that I want in it but just about a little teaspoon worth has gone in. And I have two wooden spoons on the go use the one with the curry powder on. Okay, and I'm just going to cook that for another five minutes. Um, I am going to add a bit more water to it just so that it doesn't start to stick to the pan. It shouldn't do because my work off pans, but you never know. Okay, there we go. So let's just leave that to cook down. 
Right, and my aubergine has cooked now, so I'm just going to leave that to cool off a bit so I can handle it in a short while. Right, so it's now time to dish up. Um, so I'm going to pop this into here. So I'm just going to put a layer, first of all, on the base. So it's probably about half of this is going into the base of my roasting dish. If you use a smaller dish, obviously it will look thicker and higher. I'm just going to layer my aubergine on top, a bit like you would your pasta. There okay. And then I'm just going to top it off with the rest of the lentil mix. Just get a tea tag, it's a bit hot. sure that layer is all covered which is perfect and then I'm going to add another layer of aubergines on top perfect okay and then I'm going to top this off with some grated cheese now you can use any cheese you prefer mozzarella if you want um, I've just got very extra strong mature cheddar here um, if you're on Slimworld, then make sure you weigh it out. There isn't um, two healthy extra A's here of cheese. So I know it's absolutely fine. And so this will do for two people, definitely. There we go. And I'm just going to pop that in the oven to bake until it starts to bubble. And the cheese is nicely browned on top. And here we go. So this is all ready for tomorrow night. As I said, you can batch cook this um, in as many sort of portions as you want. This will do both of us for tomorrow night. You could serve it with crusty bread, salad, or some meat, anything at the moment. If you use obviously vegan cheese, you can make it vegan, um, but it's currently a vegetarian dish, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna um, obviously put this in the fridge once it's cooled down, and then we'll just reheat it tomorrow. You can pop it in the freezer and just pull it out whenever you need it. So I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I do. Right, so that is my aubergine and lentil bake. I hope you give it a go. Um, as I said, perfect for popping in the freezer or just making the night before ahead of you know a busy day the next day or just because you want to have it for tonight's dinner. Um, and hopefully you like what I'm having this evening. Okay, so here's tonight's dinner. So I've got butternut, um, which I've roasted off with some broccoli, um, some cherry tomatoes, um, some smoked haddock, and some prawns. And that's a beautiful, um, extra easy SP dinner. And I can't wait to eat it. So let me go and grab my husband and uh, we'll get on with dinner tonight. Um, again, it is butternut, I know, but I do love butternut. And if you're doing um, extra easy SP, it is perfect to have. But tonight's dinner, again, is an easy SP dinner. And, you know, I'm hoping next week will be a good loss. Gutted about my pound on last week, I know, but I'm gonna keep on it and um, not fall off the wagon. So if you did enjoy that, guys, don't forget you need to subscribe to my channel, and click notifications, and then give me a thumbs up. And let me know if you do try the aubergine bake and whether you um, actually are vegetarian or vegan or you just like the idea of not having any meat in your dinner for an evening. All right, guys, I will catch you later. See you soon. Bye. Bye.